Hey guys, Rex here, doing a quick tutorial on how to set up your autopilot and your FMC in the Boeing 747. So we're just going to have to turn the aircraft on real quickly because we could start the APU and the battery. But we're not going to have to do much, just get everything all set up so we can just turn the power on. All we have to do is turn the power on. So let's get a nice camera angle here. Let's uh, move the speed brakes out of the way so we can see them. All right. First, we're going to go to our position tab. Our reference airport is going to be KEWR, which is York International Airport in New Jersey. It's outside of New York City. For American airports, now to get your airport code for American airports, it's going to be a K. And then usually like whatever your shorthand for that airport is, you'll probably have to look it up unless you're going to like a big airport. Like JFK is KJFK. LAX is KLAX, so it's just in Los Angeles. It's usually somewhat figure it outable. And then if you're in like Europe, it's under different standards. Um, I, as far as I know, England and Germany are E's. German, because I know Heathrow is E G L L, and Frankfurt's E D F F. But you, again, you can just look those up. Just look up what like, the shorthand for the airport is, and then put like, K or E or whatever it is in front of it. So we're going to go set up our location, which you'll just click down. Next, we're going to go to our route. Obviously, we're going to go from Newark. And since it doesn't really matter where we're going, because we're not actually going to fly anywhere, we'll just say we're going to Los Angeles. Okay, that was weird. All right, reserves, zero, really doesn't matter. Execute, why is this acting very slow? Can't change the camera for some reason. And we'll do a cost index of 50. I guess it's not gonna let us do those for some reason. It'll let us put the flaps in. Why are you being mean to me, Microsoft? Alright, look, we can put. Alright, so many of them just doesn't want me to put our cost index and our reserves in. Guess not. Alright, let's go to our departure. We're gonna choose a random. You choose whatever run day is closest to you. I'm just picking a random one because I'm not flying. And you'll choose whatever SIDs or STARS that are compatible with that runway. You'll execute, click Departure and Arrival, go to JFK. You're going to, since this is not a tutorial on how to set up an ILS, you're just going to click on the runway, so we'll say 4 right, and then we can choose any one of these options. So we'll just pick the top one. Microsoft does not appear to like me for some reason right now. Okay. This is interesting. All right. Well, so we have a f what? Okay. We're going to runway 13 using a parch 3. Alright. Why is this not working? Parcher. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry, guys. I don't know why this is being so laggy oh okay 
Oh, if I... What the? Alright. Uh, let's pick a runway now. Okay. Look, we're getting somewhere. Oh, yes, finally! Okay, that took way too long. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you have no vectors or discontinuities. I've never actually had vectors or discontinuity errors in Microsoft Flight Simulator. But, looks good. Now we're going to go over to our autopilot. First, we're going to want to turn on our flight director, switch them both on. You could choose your cruise altitude, which I guess we'll say maybe 32,000. You can choose your vertical speed, so how fast you want the plane to climb, which we'll say is about 3,000. You could pick less. I want to go more than 3,000, and I want to go less than 2,500. And then if you wanted to follow your flight plan you just did, you click LNAV. Now, in order for height for your plane to go, this is 13,000 feet here, so you're gonna climb up. Between this node and this node, you're gonna be at your cruising altitude, and before you hit E and E, you're gonna wanna descend to 13,000 feet. You're gonna go do all these here. So the way you descend is you just lower this down to 13,000, and you put your vertical speed, which should have just turned off because you'll be on altitude hold when you're at your cruising altitude. You're going to dec decrease this down to 13,000, and you're going to decrease this into the negatives. Now over here, you got your speed. If you're going to follow regulations, you're not allowed to fly faster than 250 below 10,000 feet. And it, on the airplane, over here in your speed indicator, it will have a red based on your, like a red area on the speed dial, where you're not supposed to fly over based on your aircraft and the capacity of fuel and everything and your altitude. So I would say maybe 10 to 20 IS uh, below that. But for now, we'll say 250 because that's the maximum speed we can fly. That's it for this tutorial. If you want to know how to set up the autopilot in other aircraft or do an in-flight tutorial on how to set up the autopilot, I will be more than happy to do that for you. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other things, especially Microsoft Flight Simulator challenges. Hopefully we're going to get another video out of that to you guys either Saturday or next week. I guess I shouldn't say that because that's kind of subjective based on when you watch this video. But other than that, hopefully you like, subscribe, press the notification button. You can also check in our the description for our Twitch and our Discord channel, as well as our Twitter. I strongly recommend you go over there. We're trying to grow our Twitch channel. We're so close to 50 followers. We're gonna have a big live stream for that. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye, everyone.